Anna and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be answering one of my most asked questions which is how I got flexible by showing you how much I actually stretch in a week as a self-taught contortionist. I feel like if you have watched any of my contortion challenge videos you might think that I just stretch like 24-7. Today I'm challenging myself to do everything in a contortion or flexibility pose for 24 hours. Today I'm attempting to spend 24 hours in the splits and I feel like this is going to be a very hard challenge. I decided to do another 24 hour challenge, but this time bent in half. But as you will see today, that is definitely not the case. The only time I'm stretching that much is when I'm doing those crazy challenges. Also, it's good to keep in mind that I have been working on my flexibility for around nine to 10 years now. So the stretching I do is mainly just to maintain my flexibility. Whereas if you're a beginner wanting to get really flexible fast, you might have to stretch a bit more than I currently do. In this video, I'm going to take you through all of the details to show every moment I do any sort of stretching throughout the week. So don't forget give this video a thumbs up and let's get right into it. If you are subscribed, you might have noticed that a few weeks ago I posted a new stretch challenge as well as a new workout challenge and warm up routine the week before. Both of those are 21 days long and whenever I create new challenges, I always like to try them out for myself to see what I personally think about doing them and if there's anything I want to change for the next challenge. So on Monday, I did the quick warm up followed by the 15 minute workout and then the 15 minute full body stretch, which are all here on YouTube, so I'll link them in the description. Like I said, I'm always trying to improve my challenges for you guys. So if any of you guys did or are doing one of my challenges, I would love to hear what you thought down in the comments, as well as any requests for flexibility or workout challenges you'd like me to make in the future. Since I just did a workout and stretched, I feel like I should shower and wash my hair. And that reminded me that I want to quickly show you guys my updated hair care routine. Huge shout out to Function of Beauty for sponsoring this video because lately I have been using their hair care line that's available at Target. So obviously I've been using their shampoo and conditioner. And then just one to two times a week, I've also been using their leave-in treatment and hair mask. And then all of those are with the wavy hair base since my hair is naturally wavy. What I love about these is you can customize them to your own hair goals by adding in the hair goal booster shots. This is my old shampoo that already has the hair goals added into it, but it's almost empty. So I'll show you how they work with this new one. These are the cute little boxes that the hair goals come in. And for all of my products, I chose thermal protection, strengthen and shine. So basically you just choose the base for your hair type, then add in the three hair goals of your choice. And then once you've added the hair goal booster shots into the base, you basically just shake it up for 15 seconds. So if you want to try them out, you can get them at Target or online through the link in the description. On Tuesday, I felt like changing it up a bit. So instead of the 15 minute stretch I did on Monday, I decided to do my 10 minute morning stretch. If you want to get flexible, but find stretching boring, I definitely recommend constantly changing up your stretch routine. That's why I have so many different ones to choose from on my channel. There's even three different warm ups you can choose if you want to change that up too. But my personal favorite is my most recent warm up, just because it warms you up really quickly. It's only like one song. This is like the weirdest habit, but since I'm showing you all of the stretching I do in a week, I figured I should show this too because it's technically stretching. So basically what I like to do at like random points in the day is come to this couch and do over splits. So I'll just go into an over split like this and then through the middle over splits and backwards over splits. I don't do this because I feel like I need to stretch. It's just like a weird habit or sometimes I'll even go into the middle splits like this and like scroll through my phone when no one's around. This is like a low enough over split for me that I don't really feel a stretch so I can just hold it for a long time without even really remembering that I'm in an over split. So yeah, this is basically just like a really random stretch that I'll do when I'm at home. 
It's now Wednesday night and I haven't stretched at all today just because I've had a bunch of other things to do. I always get a lot of questions from you guys asking if you'll lose progress if you take one day off of stretching. And I personally think it's totally fine to take a day off, especially if you're sore. As long as you get back into it the next day, I highly doubt you'll lose any of your flexibility progress. So if you're doing one of my challenges that's supposed to be daily, but you're way too busy one day, definitely don't stress about it. You can just start back up the next day. Another thing you can do if if you're sore but still want to stretch to stay in the habit of it is just do the beginner modifications. With that being said, I am all done my to-do list for the day and I feel like doing a quick leg stretch. So that is what I'm going to do now and I'll leave what routine it is linked in the description. Also, just because I'm curious, comment down below whether you prefer leg stretches or back stretches. I like them both but I think my favorite would definitely be leg stretches. Yeah. I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could've done more than I did now Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up People fill you with doubt, you start thinking about what you're gonna do now But we, only go one chance and go one life to live on Thursday, I got back into the challenge and did the quick warm up, full body workout, and full body stretch I did on Monday. If you've ever done any kind of stretching or working out, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And let's try to get to over 20,000 thumbs up. In case you are wondering, my outfit is from Gymshark and this yoga mat is from AnnaMcNulty.com. On Thursday night, I also did some bed stretches just to relax before going to sleep. On Friday, I didn't really do a full stretch routine, but I did make a flexibility video for my shorts channel. Sometimes people try to hold you back from being who you want to. Don't be questioning why, do whatever feels right, find your passion and fight. And also did some handstands just for fun. And that's all of the stretching I do in a week, so from Monday to Friday. Today's flexibility transformation feature goes to Erin24NS on Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking here. If this video inspired you to start stretching, you can click here for my 2022 flexibility challenge. Or you can also click here to watch my most recent video. Bye!